Welcome back to Poetry and Poetry. <laughs> Yo, I'm joking at Jamaica right now. We're up on the road right now, see there? Yeah, hustling at the ports. All right. So why I'm up on the road, I know a friend of mine shot me a video a while ago, you know? With uh, the great Tommy Thompson. You call it Tommy Thompson, the bright light. <laughs> bright light Tommy Thompson. Who came to respond to allegation made by the great Sir P <laughs> that he was he was the person or his funeral home was responsible for getting rid of the the remains of lizard in the whole vibes cartel thing that is the allegation <laughs> so now so now Tommy Tom, Tom, Thompson sought it prudent to come forward to relinquish himself from all these allegations you know or to relinquish himself from being investigated if that is allowed <laughs> in the whole incident i mean why would tommy thompson come forward with a thing like that that's the thing and the question is too jamaican people is is uh, what is what kind of character is tommy thompson in Jamaica worldwide too. Is Tommy Thompson, if Tommy Thompson had a funeral home, is Tommy Thompson capable of doing what Sir P is alleging that Tommy Thompson did in, in incinerating the remains of leaders, lizard? Number one, yes. The possibility are, you understand it, it could happen. Now, the only thing we'd, we'd have to take into considering is Tommy Thompson's character would Tommy Thompson do such a criminal act as to get involved into murder after the fact? Like, because one know that if you get in murder after the fact, he'll help somebody dispose of a body, uh, help uh, hide somebody who just commit a murder. Technically, you commit a murder to in the second degree. It is called after the, get involved in the murder after the fact. So now, Sir P is technically saying Tommy Thompson is involved in the murder after the fact because he incinerated lizard body at the at his morgue <laughs> so Tommy Thompson Tommy Thompson come forward and I explained to the Jamaican people that he had no part in it all right Tommy Thompson good but like I said you have the capability of doing it the second thing what Jamaican people have to consider is based off Tommy Thompson's character would he have done it and me yours truly I would agree that yes Tommy Thompson would do it for money I love money bad and I don't I don't classify Tommy Thompson as a man of any upscale character of an upstanding character in Jamaica and this is my reason why because I don't take say things without reason great Tommy Thompson you are to remember um, you must remember because at them money money make you get rich at them money money you get rich after you remember Tommy Thompson, there was two farmers from a, a place called Craighead, Manchester. <clears throat> yam farmers. Whose job was to, who had started a business to buy yam from the, the little farmers in the Trelawney area and the Craighead, Manchester area. To buy yam from these farmers to export. So it was their job to, after paying for the, uh, buying, for the, buying the yam from the farmers to sell the yam to exporters. To, so they can pay back the farmers because sometimes these people don't pay the farmers up front they pay the farmers after they have sold the yam now this is a mistake that these two farmers Neville Murray and Mikey Bailey now this is made with the great Tommy Thompson people of Jamaica after selling Tom to Tommy Thompson thousands of dollars worth of yam in my, my brother this man took away, took flight escaped elude, disappear, vanish from Jamaica with the farmers, their money. Now, when them a man go back in the community in Jamaica and Manchester, they know, brother, the man them in a fire now, you know, the man them almost lose their lives because farmers sharp up them mash yet long, long time. They limb them up, chop them up, fine, fine. For them your money. So these two men were under, oh God, these two men went under so much stress for years when Tommy Thompson disappear from Jamaica with the money to pay the farmers for the yam man never paid 
and these two men went through hell they were they were so stressed out that these two men eventually got sick Bridget. eventually got sick the man he was so stressed out so in this case where, where the allegations against Tommy Thompson I believe that Tommy Thompson will do it for money yes he will do it because Tommy Thompson is not a man of any moral character because if you can rob if you can rip off the, the, the farmers of the of the soil look at poor farmers them will use any little money if you send them pick me at school and buy them little food if you can rip off them the people and disappear for years with that the money that you are capable of doing anything take it from me as me tell you Tommy Thompson you is capable of doing all of that with, 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 with Sir P say I'm not saying you did it you know. I'm saying you are capable and I believe the allegation 80% because <laughs> you are capable because if you can rob farmers, you will do anything, Tommy Toms. Yes, you were held years after you returned to Jamaica, rich. You were held years after arrested. But I guess all the farmers wanted back was the money to pay back the people. But even though you 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 paid back the money after so many years, that when you go you went to court to make a deal, you pay you pay back the farmers. But still, Tommy Thompson, you would have caused enough stress and suffering and, and starvation by disappearing with the people and money in the first place. So when it comes to Tommy Thompson, I don't put nothing past Tommy Thompson. Jamaican people, me are telling you, expose the man. You don't put nothing past him. Cause he's not a man of any good morals. I want to rip off a pe people like farmers. You are not a good person of any morals. You love money. You take, take for the man the money. For years you disappear, Tommy Tom. So don't come pa, pa on TikTok and I come do video or Facebook or whatever. Come do video. Come go on like you're nobody good. You're nobody good. I can't say for sure that you incinerated lizard body for, for, for vice cartel. You can't say that. But the allegations are, <laughs> sir, I you know Sir P, you know me, sir, you know, and Sir P for him, for him straight. I don't know where Sir P is getting his source of information from, but they are they are always ninety percent correct. And I don't believe Tommy Thompson is in the ten percent. Me I tell you that Jamaica, anything Tommy, anything like all people say in Jamaica, when anything near goes so, he goes so. <laughs> and anything Sir P say, if it not near goes so, it goes so. So take away yourself, Tommy Thompson, and stop portraying an image in front of the Jamaican people like you are nobody good. You are nobody good, Tommy Thompson. You rip off farmers. And as, as a result, you rip off those. So I was there. I was in court too. You rip off the farmers them and disappear the money after years. You are nobody good, Tommy Thompson. You, do, you are not a man of good character. I am not saying that people can change. But did you change after ripping off the farmers them? Nobody don't even know how you get money if you start um, bright light. Well, at the farmer, the money you're going to invest. We don't know you invest it, you know. But at that you do. You go and start out your life first by ripping off the farmers them. Then you come back and pay them now. After years, you are sure. Do you don't know. When you come from TV, you know, from, from social media, come go on like you're innocent of everything. You're not an innocent person. Sir, P allegations may be true. I am telling you that Jamaican people. So don't me. Hey, Tommy Thompson come and chicken. He's, he's nobody good. He's nobody good. I'm done talk. 